Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video we would be seeing for capturing video in Selenium. How do you do it and why do you do it? First of all, we need video if in case we want better analysis of why our result failed and to know the logs or proper analysis of in case you know we want to have some accessibility test or in such cases. Now, for this we would be having you know a five or six step structure the very first would be we would need to download one jar after that we would be you know starting up with our importing that jar into our eclipse and would start coding for it let's not waste time on the over here let's get started in our eclipse and you know see how fast and quickly we can record the videos so guys now uh, welcome back again why do we even need to record videos first of all basically we need to record videos you know to understand you know like if in case of a test case is failing right that what is that instance which is causing the test case to fail or if you or, or else you know if i want to understand you know like uh say uh, i'm understanding you know like the behavior of a of an application like uh, how many you know how much time it's taking to load a page so in all those cases we can record a record the entire scenario and understand or you know can analyze it later right so for this particular you know process we are actually using a jar and uh, this is uh this is available on the on the official website the name of the jar is monte uh this is so the jar is over here and i've included it into my system so this is available over here this is monte screen recorder or jar uh, i downloaded this jar from their official website and uh, which is also like this one so you you can download the jar from here and on downloading you would be getting a jar like this just you know just uh, reference this jar into your uh, project by going to your project build path configure build path here you will pass like add external jars and here you will be you know like adding the jar whatever you want to add like so this one would eventually add up to your uh, repository or to your build path and you, you know you can use them or you can use the functions of these particular jars so what i've taken is uh, in this particular you know uh, class i have i'm having a main method if you can see over here properly and i'm having a private static you know object of the screen recorder which is available from the jar so here in coming into this one you know i've given some default configurations like you know the default screen size the default environment uh, and i'm not changing and you know manipulating with them you can even try and keep them same then coming to the screen recorder you know the the recorder object that i created i am identifying you know, like what type of file i want so i want a media type of file i am giving the file type as avi you can use uh, some other method also uh, let me try for mp4 if it's available yeah it's available right so then you know like coming then you know giving it uh, the me the key the encoding key and you know which is uh, its own you know it actually you know we need to give this format and this format shall remain same uh, what we can change are the are the mime type you know the one that we're providing over here or the frame rates or the quality rest you know we try to keep them same because uh, eventually these you know these uh, settings have been you know used of, or recommended by the uh, by this particular provider of the jar itself right so then we come up we see that okay like you know let's get started with the video and coming you know like till this one this part is uh, you know where we are actually working on uh, creating the screen recorder or initializing the screen recorder and then here on we have nothing to do with the screen recorder we are processing our normal web driver you know like we are creating the object we are getting the new new driver and then you know we are capturing the video by starting the screen recorder opening up our web, our website uh, getting the title and then taking a screenshot and closing the driver and eventually closing this the you know the screen recorder object so the the task here that i'm trying to get is you know uh, like uh, what all things do we need or what are the processes to record us uh, record a screen while a test case is in progress right so i'll quickly run my project and you demonstrate it to you 
to see how it works and you know, like is even like if you look at here properly so if you look over here you know it has instant you know it has created an instance of a java so it is you know the jar getting executed the you know the uh, page getting loading up and i think we even captured the screenshot so the screenshot should also be there let me refresh my project pane uh, and this is here so the screenshot is there it is over here now what i'll do is uh, the recording is done somewhere into my you know somewhere into my images so what i'll do is i'll quickly you know like uh, search the screen recording because it will saved by the name of screen recording here is the you know the screen recording that i just played at you know 350 uh, 5 358 and i can you know easily use the screen recording this is an avf file right now right so if you know you want then you can uh, actually in my system in apple we don't support avi so it won't open up i tried opening it uh, but yes it, it's not opening up but yes if you are using uh, windows then in vlc you would be able to actually you know uh, see and open up this particular file so this was all about you know how do we record the screens uh, in the video the entire screen recorder and uh, thanks all for joining in